What's up, Air Signs? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any of the magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you're welcome into this reading. You must sage for the air gods up in this bitch today, okay? So, I'm feeling a really strong ass energy. And based off of the pre shuffle, I did see the Ace of Wands. So, there could be a new passion. A new beginning coming towards you. Okay. So you already know how I do. Keep in mind time is fluid. People change. The cards change. Okay. And so do the patterns. So this is going to be for the 9th to the 10th. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, I've been feeling this really aggressive energy coming on. So let's see what's going on with the romance angels. Okay. Passion, baby. Passion. I feel it. Right. <laughs> so let's see what's going on with the romance angels. We go from there. We open up from there. And then we get a possible outcome for you. Y'all already know how I do. All right. So first card off top. Outside darlings. Chemistry and Decepticons. Oh, shit. So one more. <laughs> Free yourself. Okay, so this could be that aggressive energy that I'm talking about. Some of you guys could be like, like you want to just like, you know, aggress, be aggressive and rush yourself into it. Yeah, look at the Knight of Wands. Wow. So I feel this really aggressive energy for some of you guys. Um, let's see what's going on with the Decepticons. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Let's see what's going on for the 9th through the 10th. October for my air signs. All right, Queen of Pentacles. So you guys are just floating along, minding your motherfucking business, taking care of that money. Okay, so it looks like Ace of Wands. Wow. Also, Hangman energy. So there could be like the sexual energy that somebody's hanging around because this is the sexual passion called money. And look how they're both hanging on the penis. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. So, uh, with the Ace of Wands, it could just be a new passion that's coming in, um, but also somebody who's hanging around. They're not really, you know, speaking much about what it is that they want, where they're going to grow from there, okay? It also could be that there is uh, somebody who feels left out in the cold, but they know why they've been left out in the cold, okay? Five of Pentacles, this person is a bum. Straight bum. That's a bummy card, all right? Could be somebody that you're dealing with that is straight up, like, just toxic. Magician energy here, seven of swords. Straight bummy bum, 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 okay? Ch toxic, lying motherfucker, okay? So, I guess there's definitely this vibe like I said, there's this aggressive energy of me wanting to, like, tell a motherfucker, shut the fuck up. That's what you're going to do. Okay? So what? What are you going to do about it? That's what, <laughs> That's what I feel when I'm looking at these cards, all right? Um, especially with the Decepticon. So there's definitely someone who's being deceptive around you. It could be you, air sign. Uh, but it's saying to listen, all right? There's something you are... Needing to listen to, listen to the conversation, listen to the messages, read between the lines, listen to the mixed signals even. Okay. So it's saying to listen and also seeks the truth. So open up your third eye because there is somebody who is deceiving you or will be trying to deceive you or someone might try to leave you out in the cold. Um, but I'm also feeling like with the queen of swords. Uh, you might just cuss this person out and just block them overall together with the tower energy um, and the queen of swords coming in reverse. She's got a sharp ass motherfucking mouth. Okay. <laughs> 
Yes, talk to me, Gemini Moon. So for some of you guys, you're definitely needing to free yourself away from this person. Um, there's no communication. You feel very emotional towards this, okay? Uh, I do feel for some of you guys, you're wanting to just break free, block a motherfucker, block them out from Facebook if you already haven't, okay? Don't even come visit them motherfuckers because it looks like this person keeps recycling the same ass energy. You got the death energy here. So, King of Swords, right next to it, star energy as well, Aquarius, energy here, okay? Uh, but I'm feeling like there is someone who wants to start a renewal or start over again and over and over and over again. You play Ring Around the Fucking Rosies, okay? So, definitely someone uh, who's kind of dark-spirited as well, or you've seen their dark spirit, okay? Um, but I feel like you know you just want to cut this shit off because it's going to be some mind games. You want to do it ahead of time. All right. So it's saying to listen to your motherfucking intuition, damn it, air signs. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, listen. Seek all truth. Okay. Read through all of the bullshit. I've been saying that. Like, try and. Steer away from the argumentative energy, but also listen, okay? Listen, because somebody might be depicting themselves and describing themselves in the story. You never know how people work in their manipulation. So definitely a uh, narcissistic, egotistical motherfucker here that you could be dealing with. You need to be open to what's going to happen. Free yourself from that shit if you need to, if you feel you're going to, you know, step out of character, all right? So with this chemistry... Um, let's see, because <laughs> I feel a lot of you guys, um, will be moving on. You're thinking of moving on. Okay. It could be a romantic situation. Okay. Or you're literally moving or you have moved. Um, but I'm seeing here you're in some sort of, um, isolation or you could be isolated from your partner. Um, but there's chemistry. All right. And I'm definitely seeing um, somebody who's needing to make an action to find balance, to bring each other together, whether it be text messaging, being on time, okay, being able to strengthen that bond is the chemistry here, okay, making an action and actually final decisions and moves that make that shit work, all right? Uh, Leo Sagittarius, Aries energy. Uh oh, talk to me, Eight of Wands. So there could be some sort of interesting communication here between you and this person, Eight of Wands. With this chemistry, okay, it's kind of like, you know, not forcing itself, but it's just pushing it out there. Uh, and the universe could be taken over in this situation, but I'm seeing there could be someone from the past that you're going to be communicating with. Uh, there's going to be a major action uh, that you're bonding together and blending together. Yeah, absolutely. With the chariot energy and the ten of uh, cup here, somebody is wanting to bring this shit together. But I feel someone might be kind of in this boredom or a contemplation of going in and out with this person. Uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. And Leo Sagittarius Aries. So someone could be like, you know, stuck in the past in their chemistry or it's just a lot of strong connections and strengthening a bond. Okay. Opening up portals and new growth. So I feel like, like I said, there could be a four of cups. Yeah. So like I said, there could be somebody who's um, having to make a final decision with the offers that were coming their way. Okay. Or what exactly they wanted to do. You could have been in a split mind or had a split decision about what you wanted to do. But it's saying you're going to be revealing your darkest fears and opening up your third eye chakra. Okay. Uh, so I feel... All you have to do is just sit back and be patient and have some control and everything's going to turn out just fine. Okay. I feel there's could be some message or some news that could be coming your way. Page of pups. So let's see about possible outcomes for my air signs. Oh, the devil. Okay. Six of wands. All right. So, uh, I can't even hide my facial expressions right now. 
Um, okay, uh, I feel like there is a lot of energy where someone could be um, be very successful here. Okay, someone could be uh, a slave, or you know, there could be someone who was a slave to the money. Um, you're becoming very successful and utilizing your time and lining up, aligning things futuristically. Okay, but I feel. There is somebody who's trying to stop your shine. I do feel that air signs. There could be somebody um, that you have fallen out of love with. Yeah, hair of fine energy, ace of cups in reverse, three of cups in reverse. Some of you all have definitely just kind of dropped this old weight um, because someone was non-committal here. They could have been just, you know, trying to stick to their own their own traditions, their own beliefs, not really trying to conform or compromise, all right? Uh, I feel like with the nine of swords, someone is really like kind of having some anxiety here. Uh, it could be your partner. It could have been because of a third party situation, because of, of their non-commitment, but someone is really thinking about, um, you know, how they're not having to offer a commitment here or not only just commitment, but it could be... Um, you know, just what you guys have in between each other, what it really is, okay? But with the emperor energy, you could be dealing with somebody who's not really trying to build. They need to make an ash. You got the knight of wands here, okay? They need to build themselves up because it could be somebody who's really immature thinking that they've fucking grown and they're not and they never have had their shit together, okay, for some of you guys. But I'm definitely seeing um, somebody that needs to make an action, Definitely could be someone from the past. Six of Cup energy here once again. So this is confirmation um, that there could be someone from the past that you're dealing with that wants um, a new beginning. But they're going through, a, they're starting to see a lot of red flags. They need to control um, and figure out what it is that they're going to communicate to you if they do come to you. Okay. Uh, but I do, wow. But I do see... Um, and I feel like you guys are breaking into your independence, even though um, it could cause a lot of worry of how this person was in and out. You just kind of like contemplating when they're coming, when they're going. I feel you're going to break free and be well-rounded in your own independence with this nine of pentacles. Okay, because that flew out. Uh, I feel like you're going into a rejuvenation and I see a lot of butterflies here. So you could be one of those people that believe in, you know, turning into a, turning, you know, something that's ugly into something beautiful with time. So I definitely feel that for some of you guys, even in your independence, this is you, air signs, okay? Now there's definitely going to be some sort of communication with a connection where someone has blocked off all communication, like, fuck you, bitch. I hate you, bitch, okay? <laughs> but not hate, but just, you know, Take that shit about your energy, all right? But I'm seeing major uh, communication here. There also could be somebody who's not being very clear, uh, but they're also, you know, wanting things their way. Be aware of this energy of someone who's spying as well, but they're wanting communication. All right, guys, I love you. I will see you in the next video. If you need to get a personal read, you already know what to do. Hit that description box. Press that like button too, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.